Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And man, Madarami's exhibit's ending soon, and we still don't know for certain if he's had a change of heart or not. Well, that sucks and all, but this crossword post has got my name written all over it. Actually, it doesn't, because then it would be easy. Actually, it kind of does, because the label for an unparalleled artist just happens to be the same thing our beloved teacher calls us, I mean, her persona, Becky, calls us, my bad, totally different people. The answer is master. Most often used in the phrase, master of the arts, it's reserved for artists with incredible skill and techniques that grew to be heavily influential in their mediums. One of the most prolific masters in painting, Pablo Picasso, also had one of the longest full names in art history, 103 letters total. Wow. All right. Just a little bit longer than my name, John Smith. It's not actually my name. A lot of people think it is, though. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but... Now that we've taken care of that, uh, speaking of which, I'm kind of lonely tonight. Happens to everybody. Nothing wrong with that. Let's call up our teach. See how she is doing. This is Becky. Ah, uh, wait, it's you. Have you been studying? Don't start slacking off just because you're done with exams, okay? Um, Master, are you hungry at all? What? Now we're offering special services like maids cooking and together with a maid. With the request fee included, it's only 5,000 yen. It's practically a steal. I was just gonna eat beans, but all right, yeah. Hey. That sounds like fun. Come on over, it'll be a blast. I'm gonna make a donut. What? Seriously? I mean, thank you for requesting me. Then please wait for me, master. I hope you have a big appetite. I mean, I haven't eaten in days, so yeah. Master. Well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid's services I provided today? The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? Uh, yeah, totally, but... These were only like seven dollars at the triple seven. <laughs> I thought you'd agree, Master. <laughs> they are pretty complicated, though. It says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. <sighs> Don't request me if you're going to complain. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Besides, I thought I warned you. Why did you request me again? I'll be honest. It's getting pretty depressing around here. Morgana's my only friend I get to talk to. <laughs> hmm. Are you sure that's really the reason? Yes? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain. Since I'm making money from it. Mm. I'm so tired. We have a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to be so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves. The students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them. Or the Phantom Thieves. Dang. That sucks. <laughs> I wish they'd just talk more about our bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teachers' salaries. <sighs> I'm so sick of it. Oh, what's gonna happen to your sister? That, hey, I just request you more. Then if your salary gets cut, it won't be a problem, right? <clears throat> Really? Yeah, why not? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, master. Thanks. <sighs> I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Yeah, that would be bad. Why do you always get a phone call exactly at the time of day? Uh, hello? What? Uh, how much? I can't. Yes, but... Th that's true. Sure. Yes, yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility after all. Uh, you okay? Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. God, that sucks. Just don't overdo it, okay? Apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why I would 
really help if you're questing me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. <sighs> what am I going to do? Hey, I know a doctor that's really... Anyways, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. What? Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. Alright, sounds like a good deal. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Or maybe that's just the MSG from that ramen bowl. I don't know, but now Kawakami can make some coffee for us and clean some of the sooty armors that we pick up inside the metaverse. But F that, I'm just gonna sell them all. For actually a pretty good price, you'll see soon. And we can hire Kawakami, even though we're literally already doing that. But she'll help us save some time. It's not half a bad. This isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. Need to get requested more. I can tell my friends about you. Oh, no, that'd be bad. All right. Let's... She'll figure it out. She's a smart lady. I guess. Oh, is this master? Thank you for using our services today. Hello. Wasn't my meal so delicious? Could you taste all the love I put into it? But you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need a balanced nutrients. Maybe next time you could try my homemade cooking instead. <laughs> Seriously, though, you're still young, so you really do need to eat properly. Uh, I appreciate your concern, but I, I think I'll be okay, miss. You can thank me once you start making actual improvements. Well, you don't know my life! Uh, I mean, you're so very welcome! Uh, I know this is kind of silly, but you really do need to eat healthy. Okay? I mean, considering how much you spent on requesting me, you could probably afford some good food. Well, I hope you request me again sometime. Bye-bye! In a very roundabout way, you can kind of feel that she cares about us. But at the same time... Uh, <laughs> I guess it's a mutual benefit getting sort of started. thing. Oh, hey, it's Maruki. It's getting pretty humid lately, huh? But it's times like these when you just gotta push through the funk. It's all let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway. Then I got police officers asking me what I was up to. Wait, what? Do I really look that suspicious? Uh, are we just gonna gloss over that? Uh, speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute? And immediately decided they must be nice, too. That thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. Really? Any guesses? Uh, what? What do you think the name of this phenomenon is? Uh, that shooting game? Yeah, the Halo <laughs> Destiny Effect, holy crud. I never saw that before, it's funny. You're right! I'm surprised you knew that! Good job! You got distracted by superficial qualities, and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's not hard to make totally objective judgments. Like that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. I can't say I've ever thought someone was cute and therefore not a bad person. Nope, never done that in my Let's Play history. <laughs> anyway, take the knowledge. The halo effect isn't all bad, but I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone. Right? Yeah, I kind of get what you're saying. Plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside. But Lady On looks perfect, and she is perfect. Her grades ain't perfect, boy, that's for sure. <laughs> Why am I dunking on On? <laughs> she's so depressed lately. But she's trying her best. That's why I like her, but boy oh boy, hey, speaking of Lady On, there's nothing to do because it's raining. Maybe we should hang out with her. Good idea, Morgana. Even though you didn't actually say that, that is exactly what we're going to do in today's episode. She's always in the underground mall, though. 
The same store also. Does she ever buy anything? Or maybe she just stares at the item she wants so she can afford it one day. I don't know, but the agency pays her, so probably not. On, treat yourself, girl. God. <laughs> we'll just have to hey, now. what's up? Oh, yeah. Do you want to go somewhere? If you have the time. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hang out somewhere brand yeah. new. What should we do today? Let's okay. go somewhere fun. Where should we go? Somewhere popular would be nice. What about right here? Most popular city in Japan. Yeah. How about the Wilton Buffet? Want to go? <laughs> She's mine. She <laughs> no, we'll cover it. And the buffet we went to before? I'll need you to make sure I don't eat too much, okay? Okay, let's get going. I'll try my best. I'll be your coach. You gotta chew and rhythm on. Don't go too crazy. Uh -huh. This looks so amazing. This place has so much on the menu. It's hard not to overeat. Oh, how about this? Operation Eat a bit of everything. Yeah, sounds like a good plan, but I'm getting kind of sick of our operation names. They're never that clever, right? It's quality over quantity. I feel like we're not talking about the same thing. Honestly, it was crazy how much my stomach expanded last time. Uh, but I've reflected on my actions, and I won't make the same mistake again. You tell you say, you're saying that now, but hey, can you keep an eye on me? I think as long as you do, my resolve won't crumble. Yeah, I can try. Well then, let's get eating. The order you eat things seems important. Let's start with the stuff that digests quickly. Okay, so like simple carbohydrates or a steak. What the? Hey, they gave me this present for being the millionth customer. No wonder this place is expensive. I'm amazed they give out stuff like this. I feel like I'd just eat from it non-stop if I kept it at my house, so... Can you take it? Yeah, why not? We got a chocolate fountain from On. It's gonna be tough getting that thing home. I imagine everyone on the train, Thanks. Yo, bro, can I, get a, can I get some chocolate? Come on, you got a whole fountain. No, nah, it's probably still in the box, but... Still, what the crud? It's like the weirdest gift. Uh. And at the same time, I want to put it up as soon as I can. But, uh, an exhibition ends tomorrow. Matarami must have had his change of heart by now, right? Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Let's try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Matarame, right? No, oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? Uh-oh. I wonder if we'll be okay with Matarame. Sorry I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Matarame is on the phone as we speak. Oh, crud. Dude, what do you mean by something? I believe he's preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear anything about pressing charges. Yes, we just gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. Yeah, I sure hope so. Because if not, all this prep has been worthless. But uh, we could put our Chaco Fountain up. But if this is really our last day, Hi. let's spend it while we can. <laughs> oh, call, call me. Hey, it's Becky. Have you been studying? As long as you request me, I'll do your housework, okay? Yeah, let's bring her over. Sadly, we're not far enough to advance to the next rank, so this will be a spend time event, but, you know, it's not a bad one. I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. All right. Here I am. Waiting. Why are you crossing your arms like that? Are you uncomfortable? Oh, I guess, how could you be comfortable in that outfit? I don't know. The girls are just all out in the open. I must suck. Anyway. <laughs> Despite that, service. it is a kind of a cute outfit. I don't know. I'm not into the maid thing. I'm just saying. Put me in that? Shoot, I'll work it. I mean, what? What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... 
this country's art world, and, and even Sayori. How could I, I possibly apologize to, to everyone for, for what I've done? <laughs> He's crying way too much. And that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. You guys see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. 
I can't draw in such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine art scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <laughs> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man. Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So... Exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> well, another job well done. Oh. Eh? Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting him too. What, what, what? What's going on? The freak. You have my gratitude. 
Why are you so polite for all of a sudden? Truly, I am thankful to you for making me come to my senses. Uh, okay. Well, just get me a sandwich and we're even, I guess. <laughs> Indeed. I will return the favor someday. You're the one of us now, man. We're counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well, well then, see you. Well, that was kind of random. <laughs> Didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. <laughs> He's such an honest dude. Anyway, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success! So that said, you got time after this? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Why? You know. Extra content? I mean, well, the thing is, I got some free tickets to a uh, darts lounge from this guy I know. I totally forgot that they expire today. So you want to go right now? <gasps> hmm. Yes, actually, that sounds awesome. Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Eh, yeah, come on. It's just darts. Don't you want to play two, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. <laughs> If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's head to this darts lounge or whatever. Lead the way, Ryuji. Yeah! Heck yeah! I'm on it. All right, the place is, uh, Kichijoji. So we gotta take the train first. Uh, Ryuji, I don't know where the frick that is. I just moved here. Oh. For real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. It's just one stop away from Shibuya. So let's head for the Inogami line first. Yeah, so this is actually pretty exciting. We never got to go to this neighborhood in the original Persona 5, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda awesome. They did a really good job making Kichijoji come to life. The stairs will take you to the Inogami line. This is the way to Kichijoji. I'm getting excited. All right, let's, go. let's go, dudes! So yeah, now we can travel here whenever we want. But it's gonna cost us a tiny bed and popular with men and women of all ages. The streets are lined with shops. Whoa. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. I I think we'll be okay. <laughs> that even dent my cash like at all, but if you don't have the money, you can't actually go. It's just like in real life. So sadly, yeah, it will add up over time, but <laughs> worry about it. It'll be fine. Those two. That was ominous. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, uh, here we are. Kichi Joji. So this is it, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya. Just from the atmosphere alone. Hell yeah. Looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I really know. <laughs> Someone's an avid shopper. Well, bro, let's look around, man. What? Darts ain't going anywhere. Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Ah, it's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the Darts Lounge is one block up from the main All street. Right. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. Gosh, I love this. It's just like, d <sighs> bro, it is just the coolest place. But yeah, you don't want to talk to this information desk lady or you get into trouble. Oh my god, she's stalking us now? The crud? Who? 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 She's right there! You can see Um. <laughs> uh, my, what a coincidence. You know, this is really illegal. We could report you to the... Whatever. We'll just carry on. Hope she doesn't follow us around too much. But as I was saying before, don't talk to this lady. There's a very good reason you should not talk to her. She gives you a point of knowledge, and we don't want that quite yet. But I don't know, man. We've been going a little bit too fast in this playthrough. I just want an episode where we can just look around, see what Kichi Joji's all about. There's so many types of phones. I feel like they all look the same. Yeah, I get what you mean. Man, I want a phone of my own. Preferably the newest one out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't paying for it. You better be. But, dude, this is like... It's so detailed, and like there's just shops everywhere. And oh crap, we should probably talk about this one. This is a really nice shop. Oh, dude, check the sign down the store. It says, Bring your sooty clothes here? Sooty clothes. Like this thing I've been wearing for the entire game? Huh. Let's see what they got. All right, let's head on in. And what? 
there she goes. Welcome. If you're looking to sell clothing... Wait, what's that? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. Hey, get off me! Ah! Imagine just rips off the city clothes of Ryuji, but yeah, the secondhand store is a place where we can sell the items that we get from the metaverse for a lot of cash. We also get bonus points, which can give us some pretty good gear. This guy's reacting to clothing that we got from Shadows. Seems he knows what he's talking about. I've been here for 40 years, but I've never seen clothes that makes my heart chill. All right, I'll buy it. I only buy it for the price it deserves. So, we have a point card system here, too. Each piece of clothing you sell gets you 10 points. Once you obtain enough points, you can trade them for prizes. So feel free to let us take that clothing off your hand. I'm still wearing it, dude! What? Not only is he gonna buy it from us, he's gonna give us points? Hmm, we should definitely come back here. Yeah, no kidding, this place rules. Bro, I'm here to sell! And he had some Kazuma Kaneko art in the background to show that, yeah, this guy apparently knows this stuff came from a demon. Or shadow. Whatever. We're gonna sell them all and make a bank, bro! 20,000 yen? Dude! So you sold 11 pieces of clothing. That'll get you uh, 110 points. There she goes again. She's not very slick. <laughs> so we want to stockpile our points for a little bit because uh, the Ida Tens belt gives us Auto Masuku Kajo, which is a super, super good accessory to have on basically anybody. It's a free Suku Kajo at the start of battle for three turns. Not half bad. Anything else? Nah, that'll do it, bro. I'm going to check out the rest of Kichi Joji. Well, that was kind of a weird store. <laughs> I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. And Ryuji's back to his normal clothes again. <laughs> I don't know how many people know this, but uh, the artist for the game specifically made Ryuji have a bad sense of fashion. Like, none of his clothes like really fit, but despite that, I like how he dresses. It's pretty unique, and... Hi there, sir. What's up? Good day. What brings you here? Oh, ho Surprised to see a monk? Fret not. I'm merely a fellow human being who eats and breathes, just as you do. The temple's open to the public during the day. You're most welcome to visit any time. Hey! Let's come back another time. We got something else to do. Oh yeah, the darts thing. It's kind of nice to see a temple, though. It's been a while since we've seen one of those in a Persona. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Where should we go next? I'm thinking uh, maybe there's some cool stores down this alleyway. Sometimes we can find some pretty cool stuff. If you go off the beaten path. And sometimes you can get murder. Sometimes you can get <laughs> Hi there, sir. Dude, this is Nikumon. Looks so tastier than the ones at the convenience store. Oh my god, I love this stuff. Pork buns are the greatest. Hey, you guys want to get one? How about it? We could split it. <laughs> hey, welcome. We're selling the hot and fresh Chinese buns here. Get them on it asked. So, the juicy Nikumon, the pepper... I don't think that's how you say it. And the... What? <laughs> Meat bun with reddish tint. Uh, I mean, I guess that's pretty good. These are actually pretty good healing items for the amount of money they cost, but there's actually even better food here in Kichi Jojin. Please come again. I see. Napolitan Nikoman and Peppery Nikoman, huh? Man, I wonder what they taste like. Ugh, I'm totally gonna eat it one of these days. Yeah, but uh, we got other activities to get to, so there's actually a lot to do in the Hey, do you want to do you want to get a pork bun, Makoto? Um, you you <laughs> um, <laughs> not your style. <laughs> it's so funny how often she shows up. Like, dude, she's so bad at this stealth thing. God damn. Anyway, we got foods from foreign countries. Some of these look pretty interesting. Seems like they got some rare stuff. Let's check it out. Rare usually means expensive, though. Welcome. Hopefully, it's duty free. We got the uh, popcorn bomb. Actually, really good healing for the price. The cereal multi-pack. I guess it's every Kellogg cereal known to man. And corn beef special. I'ma pass on those. Not my not my style. <laughs> it's pretty pricey, huh? <laughs> Maybe I'll buy one someday. Just to see what it tastes like. Yeah, I'll stick to the pork buns over that. I don't know what these uh guys are talking about. So many people getting tricked into scams. It was good to see the bad guys cry while they apologize. Which reminds me, I heard some of my customers talking about the Phantom Thieves. You heard of them? My kids are talking about them too. 
Can't quite figure out if it's some kind of prank or form of blackmail or what have you. Yeah, I don't even know if they're real or not, but wouldn't it be great if they really existed? Hmm, I guess news travels pretty fast around here. Not bad. I could seriously look around all day here. It's just so nice looking. Ah, and, ah this is the road! I guess hey. we're near. Even that shop matches up on the free tickets, so it says Penguin Sniper. Why'd you give one of those doofy birds a gun? <laughs> For real? It's not meant to be taken literally, but it's about time someone put those guys in place. But uh, still, if you come up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. Yeah, so you could rush to the darts thing, but I don't know. I kind of just want to walk around a little bit more. Oh, snap, they got crepes here. This Madarame is such a fraud. Ha! His appearance on Good Morning Japan was all full of lies. I can't believe we actually paid to go see his exhibit. You and your stupid recommendations. Why is it my fault? You've been singing his praises not for too long ago. I had to cancel my golf plans with my boss. I can't just scores or pretend to be my ramen now. How could I possibly apologize to everyone? Eh? Mommy chan, stop it! Don't copy that criminal. Oh, your father is such a bad influence. Ah, the typical Japanese household. Everything is always the hipster's dad. <laughs> what is this guy wearing? I kind of like it. It's uh, it doesn't really match up with the timepiece of this game though, but. All right, enough dorking around. Let's actually head to the darts Whoa. room. Here's the place. Ah, oh, man, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> You're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? Mm, you don't gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? That's what we came to do. Let's get to it. All right, bull. That's a new high score. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point. Come on, you have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane, but it makes you want to do your best for your partner. So yeah, introduced into Royal, Baton Pass ranks if you 
play darts with your friends. You can get better at passing the baton because of your teamwork. Rank one, increase damage. Rank two, increase damage and heal after. Rank three, more stuff. And yeah, you kind of get the idea. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck? Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too! Hmm, this game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime! Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Dude, I love that part of the game. It's just kind of wholesome, you know? Ryuji and our main character bond over a newfound hobby. It's kind of nice, and if I remember correctly, you transfer lines at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Be wary, sir. Well, it's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichi Joji at night, don't you? Oh, you know I do. Don't worry. Worst coming to worst, I got your back. Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. Yeah, no kidding. You know I'm going back, dude. I love that place. And, uh, picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichi Joji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did, and then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist, or conflict artist. Dang. Why don't the cops, you know, just do their thing? Well, they try to give him a warning, but when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. We can't just let him go unchecked, right? Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to give us his name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichi Joji, Harmony Alley, a lot. Mm. Old man seems like a problem. We don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of heart. Okay, sounds like our next stop's Kichi Joji. Let's go check out this Harmony Alley. Place with all the bars, all right, I think I know where that is. Don't ask why, I just kinda do. Another 200 yen down the drain, but you know what? We're doing this for society. Or at least the people in the general area. We have a target, we haven't identified yet. Let's go to Harmony Alley, okay, we're doing that. And uh, yeah, in case you're wondering, there's also a velvet room here. This place at night is like totally different. You even notice like the amount of people that are present, changes and just, ugh. It's so cool, but the nightlife is uh, a lot different as well. All these bars open up and everything. It's kind of crazy, and this gentleman seems like he's had a few. Hey, brother, do you know about this guy we're looking for? That old man hasn't come over here yet. No wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad-mouthing my customers, but he makes so much trouble. Mole man making trouble, huh? Hey, do you think they're talking about the elderly man? Yes, they are. What's up? Hey, this ain't no place for youngins like you. You looking for something around here? Uh, yeah, that old guy. Oh boy. So even kids like you know about him, huh? That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers, and he starts fights. And when he gets in trouble, he causes ruckus. Tries to mooch money off people. Looks creepy is the more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. That's effing weird. Okay, you know his name by chance? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So he's shouting his name over and over like a Pokemon. I mean, it's Heijo Ono, right? Yep, that's the name. Okay. All right, we got our name. But, you know, can't be that hard on him. <laughs> he's around my dad's age. When he complains about his joints hurting on rainy days. Can't help but feel sorry for the old guy. I wish he didn't hang around here, but stayed warm with his family instead. Yeah, that'd be the better situation. You might sound awfully sympathetic, but I know you really think he's paying the bite. Well, yeah, I'm not denying that. <laughs> mm. His joints turned on rainy days. Poor guy. Let's go. I think we got all the info we need. Why don't we take it to the eye out? We will one of these days, Mona. We will one of these days, but... While we're out here, we might as well look around, right? I don't think we actually looked down. Oh, God. This homies are knocked out. Bro, I know it's Sunday. Y'all got work tomorrow. Come on. Hey, what's up? <sighs> the smell. I don't know if my nose can handle this. I didn't know you were into incense. If you're not, let's get out of here. Yeah. That whole incense thing, not really my style. I think there's one other shop. I wanted to look at all of them with Ryuji, because he has extra dialogue, but... You know, I missed, I think, yeah, that one. I don't think he cares too much. And I want to be strong like Featherman. I want some import of protein. Please, now. Uh, I see, but <laughs> you can also become strong by eating your mom's cooking, you know. But mom's food will turn me into Featherman. I want to be like Featherman. Wah! Kid, a steak dinner is just as good as protein supplement. I'm not trying to school you on supplements, but like, bro, they're not a replacement. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm very... Invested in proteins, but uh, this crystal healing lady. Welcome. Please take a look at what we have. Take a look around. I rather like her. <laughs> what is this place called? Stonyon. It sounds like a like a Digimon. Okay, so this is a place where you can purchase some very strong, and I mean strong accessories. But boy, oh boy, are they overpriced. But you can also pick up some black rocks here, which are very, very nice for the electric chair. So maybe keep this place in mind once you have some cash lying around. Oh, is that right? Please do come again. <laughs> so if uh, you came with Ryuji, you'd be like, bro, what the freak? That's expensive as crud. But you know what? That girl from our school is not here to stalk us. Let's go get some grub, dude. I'm not feeling the... Chinese bun guy right now. Let's actually check out what this lady has, since there's not a huge line this time. Hello. Welcome! Here's your chunky katsu. It's the last one! What do you want? Really? Okay, so a really cheap piece of ground beef cutlet that people line up to buy. Resource 30 SP. Definitely the best SP recovery in the game for the price. Holy crud. Sadly, we can only get it once a day, and it takes 200 to get here, but thanks! Be careful. It's hot. Yeah, so I kind of like that. Kichi Joji all around. I'm actually extremely like impressed with and happy about. But that's kind of all we can do here for right now. So let's return back to good old Shibuya and head to the station square. Let's gotta hit my boy Yoshida for tonight. It is Sunday. Oh frick! I almost effing forgot. Underground walkway. It's stinking. We gotta get our juice, dude. It's a Sunday. Also, what's up with this dude? Hey, man. What's up? It's been a minute. Since so all that's left of that money, I went through all that trouble of earning it, too. Uh, what are you, what are you talking about, man? Find some work? Uh, don't worry. I've got a job doing what I love. It's like Shibuya at night exists just for me. All right. Time to go out and make some money. It'll get rusty if all I do is sit around. Well, hey, man. I'm glad you found something you liked, but uh, I know something I like, and that's the juice, baby. Wait, this is not how you do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> this episode, bro. I guess just Kichi Joji makes me really happy, so a little extra. Sorry, bro, I gotta cut. This is my... Me and the juice lady, we got a thing going. I need this charm stat. God, we're burning through our cash like no tomorrow. God. But don't worry, we're gonna get some more real soon. I hope. Real soon is relative, after all, but yeah. We'll get a tiny boost to our charm for just a bit of money. Like, God, it really puts into perspective that one amount of juice costs as much money as summoning Kawakami. Made it sound like she was a persona or something. But uh, we also want to hit up the underground mall 
You can do this whenever, but I just want to do all my shopping before we go see Yoshida. Which I'll probably have to save for the next episode. There's a uh, protein that kid was talking about in Kichi Joji, right? And honestly, I like protein powder. Probably the weirdest thing about me. I like the taste of it. Welcome. I don't know. I want to get some. And this is the good stuff. Imported protein. You'll be needing this a little bit later, so pick it up right now. Do it. It's good stuff. I promise. And now we're done with that. Let's head to uh, this crack. I pressed the button two times. Let's head to the square. Let's see what Yoshi is up to. And mm -hmm. <laughs> Shoot, we wasted so much time. What's a little bit more? Man, what gifts? First that effed up teacher, now a BS con artist. Society sucks, bro. I can't take it anymore, man. Guess I gotta change the world myself, but hey. Bold, and just what do you hope to accomplish? Party as hard as I can at the club, my dude. Oh yeah. You know what, he's going to change the world in his own way. That's admirable. I guess, but <laughs> that's all the time I got for today, guys. We played darts, we were Yuji, we explored Kichi Joji, and hey, we even ran into somebody from our school. Also, yeah, Madarame has been exposed for his crimes. That's kind of awesome, so. June is definitely going to be a lot better than May as far as this game goes, and hope you guys agree. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.